Welcome to NFL March Madness 2024 Biggest Loser Edition. And what that means is we're going to be doing March Madness, but if you win the game, you're actually eliminated, and the team that loses the game will move on until we find our biggest loser. On the left side of the bracket, we have teams like the Chiefs taking on the Panthers, the Jaguars taking on the Seahawks, the Cowboys will take on the Bears, the Packers will take on the Falcons, the Lions will take on the Cardinals, the Steelers will take on the Raiders, the Dolphins will be taking on the Broncos, and the Bills will take on the Chargers. Chargers. Then on the right side of the bracket, it is the 49ers hosting the Commanders, the Bengals to take on the Colts, the Browns versus the Jets, the Buccaneers taking on the Titans, the Ravens taking on the Patriots, the Rams will take on the Saints, the Eagles will take on the Vikings, and the Texans will take on the Giants. And there is one more twist. I will be using the most up-to-date free agency roster I can find to make these 2024 teams as accurate as possible, but there will be no rookies. No surprise here, the Chiefs beat the Panthers and the Panthers. Panthers are the first team moving on to round two after a nice loss to the Chiefs. However, our first upset is Marcus Mariota and the Commanders beating the 49ers at home, and the 49ers will surprisingly move on. The Ravens seal their victory and knock the Patriots into round two. The Lions handle their business in Detroit and send the Cardinals to round two. The favorites to win are handling their business. Only one upset so far. The Bills send the Chargers to round two. The Texans beat the Giants and send them to round two. The Titans have pulled off an upset, beating the Bucks in round one, and they'll be joining us in round two. The new look Falcons with Kirk Cousins have sent the Packers to round two as they upset them in Lambeau. Dominated the Bears here in round one, and they'll be moving on to round two. The Jets get a healthy Aaron Rodgers back, and they win this game. That means they're not that bad with Aaron Rodgers and send the Browns to round two. The new look Eagles with Saquon Barkley defeat the Vikings 35-28. to The Broncos fall to the Dolphins Dolphins 31-7, and we'll be seeing them in the next round. Steelers country lets ride into the second round as Gardner Minshew and the Raiders beat them on their home field. The Rams, Matthew Stafford defeat the Saints, and we'll be seeing Derek Carr in round two. Anthony Richardson back from injury reserve last year to beat the Bengals, surprisingly, and sending Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase to round two. And finally, round one ends with the Jaguars sending the Seahawks to round two. On the left side of the bracket, it's the Panthers taking on the Seahawks. The Bears will take on the Packers in their rivalry. The Cardinals will take on the Steelers and the Broncos will take on the Chargers. On the right side of the bracket, it's the 49ers taking on the Bengals. The Browns will take on the Buccaneers. The Patriots take on the Saints and the Vikings take on the Giants. Here is the situation in Seattle. Panthers up a point. Their second goal from the one. Really, they shouldn't score here. But Chuba Hubbard will walk right in, and now the Seahawks can possibly tie it and send it to overtime. Let's see if Gino and the Seahawks have a chance at this second and three. They need a touchdown, a two-point conversion. They're driving down the field, a couple good plays. Now it's second and 10, third and one to Noah Fant. 14-yard pickup, 52 seconds left, 41 seconds left, second and eight. Let's jump in. At the 22, there's 30 seconds left. I took my eye off the screen for one second, and apparently there's no more time on the clock. I have no idea what happened. I'm going to see if there's a highlight, if there was another play, but maybe the clock ran out, but they had 30 seconds. That is Madden logic. And that last play was the DK Metcalf for 14 yards. They had 30 seconds left. How did they not make it back to the line of scrimmage? This is why Madden logic needs a big upgrade. The Bengals need one first down to send the 49ers to round three, and they'll be out of this tournament. They will pick up a win and not be the NFL's biggest loser. It's now third and two. They just need two yards to win. A team that went to last year's Super Bowl might be moving on to round three of the losers tournament and they will Zach Moss gets the first down the Bengals can go victory formation they're out of the tournament they get their win and the 49ers move on Baker wants out of this tournament he wants out of it now Baker Mayfield gonna roll left and he's a throw to Godwin and Godwin is going to get in for the touchdown and they will go for it they had three timeouts that's why I wasn't 100% sure if they would or not but this is pretty much the game Watson up fourth down. He hits Njoku. Big first down, and they're close to field goal range. Watson and the Browns now in the red zone, but it's third and eight. A touchdown to take the lead. A field goal to tie. Watson hits his man in Joku, but it's broken up. Browns took the three. They tied the game up. Buccaneers trying to get in field goal range. Baker Mayfield second and 10 from the 47. Let's see. You need about 10 yards here if you're Baker Mayfield and the Buccaneers. You have a timeout. You can use any part of the field you want. Over the middle, he goes, and there's Mike Evans, who got the contract extension. Baker got a contract. Evans got a contract. Now they're going to win this and knock the Browns into round three. Here we go. 
Two seconds on the clock for the game. It looks good. Buccaneers out of the tournament. Browns to round three. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Well, there was no reason to jump into this game because the Packers dominated their division rival Bears again. And the Bears will be in round three. Well, the Steelers are up eight and we have Justin Fields at quarterback. The game decided to go with Fields instead of Russell Wilson. So I wasn't going to manually change it as there is a minute 55 on the clock. Cardinals down by eight. They got to stop the Steelers here and the Steelers pick up four Najee Harris wide open hole in the middle he picks up that first down it looks like the Cardinals are going around three let's go ahead and see will there be any clock left for the Cardinals will they have any chance at this no a couple first downs for the Steelers they go victory formation and Justin Fields leads the Steelers to a win where the Bears are still in this tournament the New Orleans Saints handle the putrid Patriots here in round number two and the Patriots are one of the favorites to lose this whole thing the Denver Broncos have an opportunity here to get out of this tournament with 27 seconds left. They need the touchdown. Javante Williams gets it with 25 seconds on the clock. And it looks like they'll be winning this game. But you can't 100% count out Justin Herbert. But he doesn't have his weapons anymore. No more Mike Williams. No more Keenan Allen. Gus Edwards gets a grab. Let's jump in. I don't think Jim Harbaugh wants to start off his coaching career in Los Angeles by winning the biggest loser tournament. Oh my goodness. It's a catch by Joshua Palmer. And they might have a chance at a field goal here. A huge grab by Palmer is going to allow a 58-yard attempt for the Chargers to win this game and send the Broncos to round three. The kick doesn't have enough. Oh, that's not even close. Chargers lose. Can Daniel Jones win this game late? They're down seven to tie. Oh my goodness, he's got a man! That one's caught! Wandale Robinson, touchdown Giants! It's a tie game. The Vikings, though, are driving right back at the Giants' defense here with that dominant pass rush. Thibodeau, Brian Burns, Dexter Lawrence, it's a touchdown! I skipped the touchdown on accident in the simulation here. Now Daniel Jones has to get another one. It's third and 20, let's jump in. Third and 20, Daniel Jones. I don't know how much faith I have in him here. Oh, he's going deep, though. Never mind. Hold on a second, he's got a man! Unbelievable throw and catch, Daniel Jones. Never mind. That is Isaiah. Isaiah McKenzie, the new addition for 54. What an ending to this game. Third and goal, Daniel Jones. Looking for Bellinger. He catches it inbounds. It's a touchdown, Giants. A few moments later. Apparently, the Giants either went for it for two to win the game, or they missed the extra point, and the Vikings won. They really went for two and didn't get it. Here is your non-elite eight. The San Francisco 49ers want no part of this tournament anymore. They want out and they start this game on fire against the Browns. Congratulations to the 49ers for finally making it out of this tournament. Well, it looks like the Bears are going to be continuing on in this tournament. Unfortunately, the Seattle Seahawks are up by 19 points. Even with the Bears pick up that first down on what could have been their last play. It's first and 10. They're down 19, and there's no touchdown worth 19 points. So I think we're good. Let's see this play, though. Looking for, I think, DJ Moore on the outside. We'll see them in the next round. Giants are first and goal up by one point right now. So if they score a touchdown, they will be up eight. The Patriots could possibly have some time left, or they could just take an knee, kick three, and give the Patriots like 15 seconds left to get a touchdown to win. Daniel Jones giving it to Singletary. New addition for the Giants. They're going to take time off the clock. He's not getting in the end zone. Let's just see what happens on this next play. Of course, they get in the end zone. Madden logic never fails, and they didn't even take time off the clock. So now the Patriots have about 90 seconds to get a touchdown, a two-point conversion to tie. The thing is Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. I forgot who the Patriots signed. I'm pretty sure that's Jacoby. That is Jacoby Brissett, who's going to be the quarterback. It'll probably be a rookie quarterback when the draft comes around. But for right now, it is going to be Jacoby. Fourth and ten. This is it. The Patriots could be entering the final four. If Dexter Lawrence gets it. Oh, he broke the sack. And then he throws it deep. And he connects with the man. And Kendrick Bourne. What? What kind of a play was that from Jacoby Brissett? But that play really doesn't mean anything unless Jacoby Brissett and the Patriots get this two-point conversion. And Hunter Henry's wide open. It's a two-point conversion. You got enough time. If you can get 20 yards and then call that timeout, you can attempt the field goal. Play action. No one's biting on that. Daniel Jones. Is he going to scramble? Here he goes. Daniel Jones, you got to slide. And there's the timeout. But from the 50, I don't see them kicking one. I believe they're going to go Hail Mary here to end regulation. Imagine it ends like this. Imagine it ends like this. That's getting to the end zone. We got a flag. Don't tell me there's PI or there could be roughing the passer. What's going to be this call here? Pass interference on the defense. I think on the defense. Pass interference on the defense. And that just won the Giants the game. They get an untimed down and need three to win. I can't believe what I just witnessed in this game. 
A defensive pass interference just walked the Giants down the field for a game winner and send the Patriots into losers round four. Well, the Chargers have a chance to get out of this tournament by winning this game. Gus Edwards, one first down will pretty much do it. He says, I'll get the whole thing. I'll get the touchdown. It's a two touchdown game. And I think the Cardinals are going to be in our losers round four. But let's just go ahead and confirm what I think is likely. The Cardinals lose. They are still in the biggest loser tournament. And here is the final four that you don't want to be in. They obviously would like the touchdown to take the lead. But third and 23 against this Browns defense is not looking likely. But you never know after that play percent made last round. Can't say anything. Oh my, what a catch. Who was that who just made that catch? Was that KJ Osborne? I don't know the new numbers. That is KJ Osborne. Well, I think the Patriots will take three. They do. The Browns now have a chance to win it with a field goal. Let's see what Deshaun Watson and the Browns could do. Four yard pickup. Are they going to get this first down? They do. There's 40 seconds though on the clock. 33 seconds with one timeout. They need three. Got one timeout, Watson. You need about 10 to 15 yards or go for it. Oh, he's got him. Oh my goodness. Deshaun Watson. What a throw. I think that's Elijah Moore. Yes, it is. What a throw and catch for a touchdown. Patriots got about two plays. You can use any part of the field you want on this play. You got 11 seconds. You got a timeout. The next play has to be the touchdown. So, really, you can do anything you want on this play. You got to pick up something positive. Even Brissett could run. I mean, only for, what, like five yards? I don't know if that was smart. This is the final play. Fourth and three. It's got to be the end zone, obviously. So this is going to be a Hail Mary. We've seen crazy things in this tournament. It would not surprise me to see a Patriots catch this ball right here. What happened? No, it's broken up. Browns win. Patriots to the loser ball final. The Cardinals are in field goal range at the minimum with two and a half minutes about left of this game. The Bears have zero points. Cardinals have seven. All they got to do is not turn the ball over. Kick three, be up 10-0, and the Bears might be playing in the loser ball. Funny enough, the Bears played in the loser ball last year. So, James Conner, is he going to get the touchdown? He is. I think the Bears are going to lose this one and go to the loser bowl two years in a row. Now that they're up two scores, let's just simulate this one fast. The Bears finally get a touchdown, but it's too little, too late, as the Bears will play the Patriots in the loser bowl. Loser bowl, Super Bowl, right here. It's the Patriots, it's the Bears, and you do have to say that both of these teams are going to have a new quarterback next year, probably Jaden Daniels for the Patriots, and you're going to have Caleb Williams for the Bears, so they should not be the worst teams in the league, but right now they're playing for the worst team. But we will go ahead, we'll start with Jacoby and the Patriots, then we'll go ahead and we'll simulate this game and jump into some key moments. But let me know in the comments down below who's going to be the NFL's biggest loser 2024. And we got a flag on the field. Third and five for Jacoby. Are we going to end this drive? Three and out. No, we're not. Out of the backfield, he's going to hit a man. And that's going to go all the way down to the 37-yard line. And that's Antonio Gibson. Ramondre Stevenson in for the score. A touchdown for the Patriots. The Patriots do not want to be the NFL's biggest loser because they're up 21 to nothing. Almost made it 28 nothing. The Bears have not scored. It is 28 to nothing. There is not going to be any key moments here because the Bears are going to get shut out. There's no worse feeling than in the loser bowl to play for the worst team in the NFL if you lose to get shut out 35 to 0 by the second worst team in the NFL, the Patriots. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.